Well, that's an important target that, uh, that's, uh, because it's very specific for, for myeloma. And, and that opens a lot of possibilities uh, for the consideration of use of uh, immunotherapy. For example, monoclonal antibodies or CAR T cells that may specifically go against these, these, uh, these targets. Um, the, the problem with, uh, with uh, developing these immune therapies, CAR T cells, for example, is that if you don't have uh, a, a selective uh, marker for the, for the, for the tumor, um, you're going to create nonspecific toxicities. Um, and um, you know, that's, that's what, what's happened, for example, in, in acute myeloid leukemia. So the, the, the advantage of this marker is that it appears to be fairly selective for the myeloma cells. And, and that, that's where, where a lot of the research is going in towards using that to develop specific immunotherapies. And I think uh, we're starting to see some of that data. Uh, I, I think in the next two to three years we'll have you know, real drugs or, or cells that are uh, developed and approved for this for these indication as well. And that's probably going to represent a shift towards the, our use of stem cell transplant. You know, uh, do we really need to use stem cell transplant if we have a different modality of cellular therapy?